sound of our universe. It's alive with cosmic noise, a constant barrage of galactic white noise. August 15, 1977, Ohio State University. This is Project Big Ear. Its aim, to scan the galaxy and listen out for an alien species. It's the middle of the night. As the scientists catch up on their sleep, suddenly the computers pick up a signal. It's coming from somewhere in the direction of the constellation Sagittarius, over 200 light years away. But this is no ordinary signal. There is no known natural phenomenon to explain it. This blip looks like a mark of technology, perhaps a sound of intelligent life. It lasts for 72 seconds and then goes silent. It's so striking, the first scientist to see the computer printout wrote down one word, wow. But the wow signal, as it came to be known, has never been heard again. Researchers recently pointed the dishes of the very large array in New Mexico in the direction of the wow signal. But all they heard was silence. It remains one of astronomy's most thrilling and inexplicable moments. Will it someday, maybe even thousands of years from now, mark the start of a profound new chapter in human life? Or will it be remembered as just another computer malfunction? For now, it's a mystery with thrilling possibilities. And planetary scientist David Grinspoon thinks it may well have been alien in origin. It remains quite possible that the WOW signal was a genuine detection of some kind of extraterrestrial intelligence. My sort of fantasy scenario for the WOW signal is that it was a snippet of conversation, be perhaps between two ships, between two aliens, that wasn't really directed at us. We just happened to, for a second, uh, be in the right spot to, to eavesdrop on. Although the WOW signal has never been repeated, there is a chance that aliens are already transmitting and we're just looking in the wrong places. For us to have a realistic chance of finding alien intelligence, we need to scan not thousands of stars, but millions. But how can we achieve that sort of scale? Naked Science next travels to Northern California, to the site of the Allen Array. It's the new permanent home for the SETI Institute's Galactic Sweep. Although currently there are only a few operating, eventually there will be 350 dishes covering this site. All of them able to run 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, scanning the stars for signs of intelligent life. The SETI search has been running for the last two decades. In that time, thousands of stars have been scanned. With this new array, the SETI Institute will be able to search millions of stars in the next 20 years alone. With that sort of capability, the Institute's senior astronomer, Seth Shostak, is for the first time confident enough to make a prediction for naked science. So given the capabilities of this telescope and how many star systems it's going to be looking at in the next two decades, I think that we're going to hear extraterrestrials by the year 2025, and in fact, all the action is in the last five years. So my bet is we'll know we're not alone sometime between the year 2020 and the year 2025. And how will it change us the day we discover we're not alone in the universe? I suspect this will be one of the biggest, if not the biggest story of all time. I think that if, if you were a resident of Earth in the 30th century and you look back on the 21st century, you know, you wouldn't remember anything about the wars or the technology or the political infighting or the, any of that stuff. What you would remember was that's when they finally shattered this, this, this ball of isolation that was around this planet. That's when they finally found that there were others out there. But there are a number of scientists who think we should be very wary of contact with aliens. Professor Stephen Hawking of Kedge University is one of the world's geologists. He fears our very existence may be threatened if aliens show up. I think it would be a disaster. The extraterrestrials would probably be far in advance of us. The history of advanced races meeting more primitive people on this planet is not very happy, and they were the same species. I think we should keep our heads low. 
but it may already be too late. As we've already heard, for the last hundred years, we have been transmitting radio signals, and they've been leaking off the planet at the speed of light. One day, if there is intelligent life out there, someone or something will know we are here. Just for a moment, imagine a universe awash with life, where we humans are not the only intelligent beings around. What might these alien races look like? Could we communicate with them? Or even recognize them as intelligent? And what would they make of our violent and dangerous species? Might they take one peep and decide not to bother with such primitive beings? A planetary nursery filled with spiteful galactic infants. On the other hand, in our imaginary scenario, they may enrich us with scientific knowledge beyond our imagination. Or could an encounter with aliens have a more destructive outcome? It could be a bad day for humankind. But relax. It's just make-believe. It could never happen. Could it?